Hello everyone, it's Hoplite Mike. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to the Stannis Baratheon campaign for part 4. In part 3, we started fighting against the Tyrells. We took one of their settlements and we also killed Randall Tarly and also Loras Tyrell and narrowly escaped with his life. In this episode, we, we'll, we need to deal with this uh, attack from the Martells on our southern border. But I do want to push further into the Tyrell territory. So, firstly, let's uh, let's get this one out of the way. They do have <clears throat> they do have more troops than us, but we are defending the settlement, so that should give us an advantage. Only a couple of archer units, including one which is our general. Not really much point defending the wall, I'm just gonna fall back to the square. Looks like we've got a, a nice hill here to defend as well. So I'm gonna get our spear guys lined up. And we've got the uh, Dundarian March Guards, which are very strong as well. I need to keep a few units off to the side in case they choose to come up this way. Which I guess that they would. And then I don't want to lose our house, uh, Tarth Marines. They're the units which accompany Brienne of Tarth. She died much earlier in the campaign. I would rather they shot the ram, but it's not a problem. The uh, the Dornish troops were stronger than I gave them credit for in the last episode. We'll try and take out these guys before they get to the wall with the ladder. Seems like we're not going to get there. Let's head back to the wall. To the square. Looks like we've left some there. So they're going to die. But that's fine. Get these guys into guard mode. Find a little hell here. I'm just gonna stream I'm gonna stream through. Hopefully we can hold here. Yeah, so they've chosen to go around the other side, which is what I thought they might do. It's quite a nice nice settlement to defend this. There's only well, I guess it's more than one way, but you would expect them to come up one of these two ways. Looks like they're all going over to this side. I don't want to lose my general to random archer fire. So I'm going to see if I can get them close in here and then they can't really fire. Okay. I'm not doing too well on that side. been able to push in quite easily. I'm just gonna pull some units from this side. I'm 
Yeah, I think this is probably a lost against them. Well, actually, they haven't said that. They haven't sent any more units around this side. If I send my other marcher guards... They just break really quickly. And I inside, I probably just should have just lined up on the square. Okay, I went into guard mode. At least on Darian trips on our last hope. No, oh, actually took out their general. That might do something. Our general's about to die as well. General needs to not die. So we'll keep the men tight. Fortunately, I don't have any cavalry units or anything to chase them down. Okay. I think... I think we've got them. So they'll get away with a lot of their troops, but um, a win's a win. He <laughs> did deal with his arch. They've, they must have so many, uh, so many kills. Alright, we'll get as many as we can. Yeah, I thought that was going to be a loss, but the uh, the Dondarian troops made the difference there. I'm just gonna let them. I don't have any cavalry, so there's no point in trying to chase them. I guess what that battle's taught us is as long as I've got Dandarian marcher troops, we should be able to hold the border uh, against House Martel. Fortunately, I can't. Uh, train anymore at the moment. Randall's Harley is dead. <laughs> Various wars. Brianne Seaworth. Most advanced faction. Okay. I need to get some vision around here. Can't really see very much. So this bit of bridge, and our forces are fairly depleted. I thought I had, yeah. So there's Roland Storm. I wanted to take Grassy Vale, but I think that's going to be difficult at the moment. 
Oh, here's some. I'll send them down for retraining. Let's try, let's try and talk to the Martels. Maybe they'll offer me peace. Send the trebuchet with Stannis. Let's pick up some mercs. Let's head down. Try and take Grassyville. We can sweep down with Roll and Storm at the same time. Where is Salador San? He was supposed to be on his way. Oh yeah, that's as much as I can do. I like this mod there. It doesn't feel like there's as much micromanagement when it comes to the cities. You know, every every faction starts off with lots of units. So you get, you know, into the battles fairly quickly. And Grassy Vale's got a much bigger garrison now, unfortunately. I think that, yeah, I think that comes up every time. Uh, we'll resolve that. Lost 20 men. Fortunately, we can't get over to Grassy Vale this turn. Who, who's this is region? House Tully. I don't think I'm at war with House Tully. But I can't let them hold this settlement and just send armies south, so... I need to deal with that. Free riders. I think you can recruit some of the. Uh, well, you can get Vale clansmen as mercs over in the Vale, like the ones that uh, Tyrion, the Tyrion ran into. Salador San is nearly in the south. Yeah, and I could probably lose some of these units. Because we're, we're sort of on a on an even keel when it comes to gold, but we're spending as much as we're making. Oh, you have siege equipment, so you can just come straight in. Okay. Well, we've got our Dondarian guards, so I guess we'll have to do what we did it before. I'm just slightly worried about the amount of siege equipment they have. We'll fight it. Well, that looks like a much better, much better army than they had the first time. So. Let's just line our guys up on the square. Might not be enough, but we have to try. Outward. 
seem to have much more uh, okay so that 77 must be there damn it full strength hopefully if we stay in the square there siege equipment can't hit us Well, they are through the gate, but they're not coming yet. They just want to... They want more than one entry point. They want another entry point. They are wasting valuable time here. You don't have forever in a siege. I mean, this is just making it more difficult for the AI to take the settlement if they're going to waste time. I mean, the wall is well and truly down. I guess they're just using up all the ammunition, but they've used about a quarter of the time. And this is something that I had to keep track of when I was playing the wildlings, because if you, when you're sort of cheesing some of the settlement battles and you're just using archers, you actually have to be mindful of how much time you're using to do that. There is an option to not have time battles in the when you start the campaign, but it's better just to have it selected to so you don't have issues with crashing and stuff. Yeah, they use about a third of their time now. Uh, coming in now. I just need to check which way they're coming in. Just might need to re, re yeah okay. So they're coming in from this way. Let's get some spearmen lined up. Uh, it looks like they've sent in the general. What are you doing? So, okay, they've killed 30% and they've lost 10. And all I need to do is redistribute. probably will win this to be fair, but if we can get their general that year on bodyguards. I think that's probably ours. Noble death. That's fine, we can, I mean, we can always take the assessment back with um, Salad or San. Yep. 
just want to check. Tarth Marine's actually got some of the most kills there. Just wish uh, Salad or Sans Army had a had some sort of siege equipment. Okay, here is Sardor San. No marks available. I need to send these boats back up to Storm's End to pick up some some more units and then I want to attack Grassy Vale. Can do a night attack, which is good. Seems like they've got some okay troops in there. It's quite dark. That's better. Right, let's get our archers together. This is one of the easier settlements to to take because it's not got the like the big walls. Sorry, the big towers. All right, that's worked out pretty well. I didn't use much ammo to do that either. One tower down. Well, I'm just one more shot. <laughs> Missing it by inches. That looks like a hit. Let's go for the uh, the bodyguard now. I'm gonna get our melee units into position. Right, Trebuchet is pretty much out of ammo, which is probably a good thing given it was closer to taking out our troops than theirs. Probably should have made two, more than one break in the wall. Right, let's uh, let's just go in. Sure, that yellow 
use. Anyway, let's send in some cavalry. The uh, red wind bodyguards they look quite quite elite. Alright, we'll get them around the other side here. I'll take uh, these two cavalry units first, and these are the, these are the most uh, expendable. Try and get a cheeky flank. These are uh, knights are pretty strong. Yeah, these knights just aren't dying. Dismounted red wine knights. Alright, let's see if we can uh, move some other guys in here. I don't know what's happening with the music. I should be able to deal with Berman. Let's send in the Onion Knight. Uh, we've got the uh, we've got the settlement. We lost a fair few there. Lost one hundred and twenty-eight men. About fifteen percent of our force. Mission success, Council of Nobles, you've been rewarded with four units of sailor at your capital. Is that the boats? No. Yeah, can't say they're especially useful, but yes, we'll take them. I need better recruiting capabilities here. Uh, 
probably auto resolve. You'd rather have the cavalry. Uh, but that's looking like quite a difficult battle, to be fair. Now that's Lars Tyro. Uh, I will need, I'll probably need a general to take him out. Just wondering if I want to go from this turn, given that we've got the opportunity to. I would guess he is probably the. Yeah, potentially. Anyway, uh, I think we'll move further south. I don't want to get attacked by four armies. And I'll send a couple of spearmen out as well. Pass the turn there. Yeah, so they have attacked us, and Salador Sands units are not that strong because they're just pirates, really. So, I'll see if I can retreat. Cannot withdraw. That is unfortunate. Alright, we'll have to fight it. I don't think we can win. Ah, sand. So what we can do is try and get onto this hill. I guess they would have the same idea. We can try to use these rocks to stop us being flanked. Let's uh a fuel's task. Keep them in reserve. We do at least have some cavalry. We don't have any uh, missile units actually. Uh, Knights of the Dawn coming straight for us. Where am I? Levy Spearman. Okay, they've routed. Hmm. Let's see, I don't think our line will hold. And they've got a, an overload on this side. If I can flank quick enough.
No, that's not a good. Not a good fight. Yeah, we've lost a lot of men already. General. Fortunately, they've got ours. Run, Saldosan, run. Break the line. Got them on the run. Alright, we just need to envelop. And not lose all of our guys in the process. Yeah, to be fair, this went better than expected. Knights of the Dawn. Sand's about to die. Get out of there. Where are all our guys? Alright, I just need to flank this unit of cavalry. You cross with you've not shot any arrows. What have you been doing? It's time to try and take as many of them as we can. No, no, they're fighting to the death. Yeah, the problem is I've only got two guys in the Sardo Sand unit now. So it's pretty difficult to chase guys down. You just didn't get as many of them as I would have hoped.
Salvador San is now a gold star general. I need the crossbows to take out that cavalry. What else we're gonna lose? Actually, might lose this now. What would a, a charge with two men do? Probably nothing. Are you guys even firing? You're not even firing. I need Sardor San to be a unit of spearmen. Two men. I don't understand these crossbows. They just they haven't been firing. I don't know if it's a problem with the line of sight or whatever, but. I mean, you may as well just fight because you're, not, you're pretty useless. Yeah, lost. Oh well, I know actually. They're still alive. What's that? Spearman. They'll have to fight it. Don't have a choice. I'll see if we can rest up. I would guess they are very tired like we are. No. We lost. That was close. I feel like we had that, but I think what, what happened was they, they either had some units kept in reserve or they initially broke and then unbroke, came back into the battle and then because there were so many of them we couldn't deal with them. But that was, that was a winnable battle. I just didn't win it.
Alright, I'm going to send a general down to Grandview. And we need to try and take back what was lost there. I don't think I can retreat with Stannis at this point. I think he has to keep going forward. Tyrell. Let's see if we can take care of him. Alright, so the good news is that we have <coughs> trebuchet. Looks like they are actually coming towards us, interestingly enough. We don't have many uh, melee units actually. We do have a trebuchet though. Uh, these trebuchets are not going to be useful now. Ugh. I feel I, I don't understand. I feel like we had way more men, but it hasn't. I don't feel like we've got more men. I don't feel like we had way more men than the numbers would have suggested. I don't think I'm going to get crossbow again. I think I want to get the proper archers. He needs to come over here and deal with Loras Tyrell because he is gonna He's gonna do some damage. Tyrell has fallen. Right, we'll continue the battle, we'll just take out what we can. You can stop firing, please.
Okay. So I'll end it there. Uh, we lost 86 men. The bigger problem now is what we do in the south. Given that Stannis needs to keep going to Little Bridge. Uh, we could try and take... Okay. Where are our ships? Yeah, and all I've got here is essentially mercs and stormland levies. It's not going to be enough to beat to beat Dawn. Maybe I did need to send Stannis down here. Of these is just to drain on resources. I'm mad about that Salad of Sand battle. Looks like we had it. Tali troops, high towers. The thing is, like, even if we won this, okay, so it is a sally out. If we win, we would have to take the square to win it. I think we should. I think we should go for this. We we'll see what the battle map looks like. There's also a bridge in there. Don't know how that's going to play out. Okay, so there was a bridge, but there's no bridge. Well, there was a bridge there, but it's not on the battle map, so. Uh, we do have a hill, though. Always a good sight. Get the spearmen. Right, let's have the swordsman in the middle. Spears on either side. Got plenty of uh, crossbow. And three units of cavalry. So we've got a good army. Send one free rider on this wing. Another, uh, are they Dragonstone Knights? They're strong.
Okay. And we need to watch out for... Oh, that's... There's quite a lot of men coming over there. So as usual, the AI will charge in with their cavalry. Take out those outriders. Oh, they're mounted crossbowmen. Interesting. Oh, yeah, we're going to do better than them at this point. Oh yeah, I think we need to turn our attention now. To the force that's coming. In fact, I don't want to go straight into spearmen. Oh, they're already wavering, so let's take them. Now they're properly wavering. Okay, we can uh, we can reset now. Uh, we can let the cavalry take out some of these units here. That's the general of the first army, I think. Uh, Tyrell bodyguards, got the 24 in there, weak levies. So, plenty of strong units. I need to get back over here with our cavalry. Hmm, that maybe wasn't that smart actually. Need to get our uh, general out of the fight. That we can flank with him now. Try and 
try and get there, General. Are we winning over here? Are we losing? Tyrell bodyguards, heavy cavalry. Nah, I just pull up. Yeah, they've gone as well. Let's try and take out some of the vermin here. We've pretty much got them, it's just I don't want my general to die and then we lose a fight that we should be winning. Looks like most of them have routed, but there must be a few units in there that haven't. I would guess the, the bodyguard unit hasn't routed either. Two left. I'm just going to put this on six times and try and deal with some of the routers. Okay, it's just not dying to ours at all. Oh, he's gone now. Okay. Right, we lost 176 men. So some of them will have got away and went back to the. Um... Yeah, that was why I needed to kill the the general. Right, I was taking a try I don't think we had. I, don't, I'm not, I wasn't sure that we killed the, the opposing general. Valmogulis, or Tyrell is dead. Okay. So the biggest threat right now still is probably the Tyrells. Get rid of the rally field, have fire at the military camp. Get some trebuchets here. I 
Yeah, we're in desperate need of troops in the south. Might try and, try and take better bridges, the last thing we do in this episode. Okay, it's not that well defended, but I guess it will be if we go for it. Let's send our down our reinforcements as well. Okay, I'll pass the turn now. Right, tunneling. I'll be tunnel visioning a bit too hard in the Tyrells, not dealing with the Martells. Oh yeah, that's why Stannis can't move very far in his with his army, it's because he's got a, a trebuchet. Leader of the Iron One is dead, I think that was Euron Greyjoy. Ron is dead as well. And we can't make we can't make it all the way to Bitter Bridge. Unfortunately. And what well, looks like a near full banner army. Okay, you guys need to come down here. Uh, join up at Grand View. Stony Septon. I'm not sure he'll. Oh, there must be a. It's a rebel region, isn't it? Yeah. War Drummonds. Again, just uh, killing our gold generating capabilities. Yeah, could have guessed. Okay, where's our reinforcements here? Oh wow, that is a big navy. Alright, we need to take Bitter Bridge. So we shall do that, and then I might need to double back and send Stannis south. Yeah, okay, again, it's going to be a game of luck whether we can get the towers. 
Wow, well, been uh, very efficient this time. Only took, uh, what, four or five rounds? Oh, come on, that was a hit. There's one down. Actually, this army is really depleted. I didn't realize that before I laid siege. It done. The guys lined up. Then we'll send in the missile guys. This is a good tactic because you, if you get the towers, they don't have any shots firing on you, so you can just leave your uh, spear guys here and use your missiles. Yeah, once we take out this uh, this general battleship of ours, that's him down. Went down to the Onion Knight. Now we can make a break for the square. And that's it, pretty much. So we'll time them out, uh, we just send our melee units to deal with these, and we'll end the battle. And so this unit, this uh, army has overextended quite a bit, that's why there's no, we don't have enough melee units left in it. To get rid of the military camp. Fire. And I just want to see if we can get any marks. We cannot. Okay. Can we get any marks here? We can't. Okay. 
Don't like the look of this on it. So I think what we can do now is bring down this army to try and help in the south. That will be Roland Storm's task to keep Stannis in going, to keep heading west. Okay, we'll pass it. We might get uh, attacked here by House Martel. Dawn. Yeah, I thought that. We didn't lose our army that attacked at Tumbleton. Stark leader is dead. I'm not sure who that is. I think Rob Stark died a while ago. That's Bran Stark. Okay. Captain Ben. All right, uh, we need to deal with this. It's got a catapult, two catapults. Where's our ship that's about to be lost? I uh, may as well send our general over to Stonehelm as well. Let's try and clear out this force. There's a lot to do to uh, to deal with the Tyrells. Uh, I need to get to them quickly because they have so many. They have artillery, basically. If they're coming to us, not these weak bowmen. Alright, <laughs> yeah, we need to go. I nice try and deal with those catapults sooner rather than later. As soon as we start fighting them, oh, they've got red wing guards. That's not good. Yeah, as soon as we start fighting them, they won't be able to fire there. Well, not as easily anyway.
Alright, we've got them off the artillery at least. I'm worried about those red wine knights though. They were really strong last time. Need to run away. Alright, it looks like we've, we've won the battle. Try and get everyone firing on the red wine knights. Oh, that's the castle artillery guys. Should be able to deal with them. You see, we, we've been firing those red wine guys for ages and they've only taken five or eight losses. So we've lost 30%, they've lost 60. Run, run, run. Cavalry's still not lost anyone. I need to bring over my cavalry to deal with. Just those weak vermin over that. Alright, decent fight. That's it. That's the last unit. Alright, 
and lost 230. Alright, that's good. Let's, uh, we'll join up with forces with them next turn. And then I wanted to try and go for this. I think if we can, if we can get these guys off, that'll help immensely. So this is everything they've got. It doesn't look like as much as I thought it was. And we're attacking them, so they're not gonna come out to us. Got a good amount of cavalry for this battle. We've got a uh, we've got uh, protection against the flank. So line up the car on this side. Are they oh, okay? So they <laughs> they've lined up in a pretty weird way. Where's the general? Two decent charges there. Got the archers firing as well. Looks like all is good over here. We need to get as many of them as we can. So I'm just going to line everyone up here
Oh, they got them trapped. So I'll bring the general around. Cover off anyone that tries to escape. That's their general gun, I think. Let's see if we can get these uh, knights here. Right, looks like we've got it. Still a couple of units over here, so we'll get those. But uh, yeah, I made pretty good work of that. That's it, I think. So we lost three. Okay, that was yeah. We lost more men than I planned, but. I think their troops are probably stronger than ours, but because we had them surrounded, we were going to win eventually. Alright, let's, uh, let's join, let's join forces here. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to attack this, this army. What, two, three siege, uh, three pieces of siege equipment. We do have cavalry to deal with it, so I think we should fight this one. It'd be nice to get back, take Blackhaven back in this episode, and then we can get back to where we were in the south. We've not lost any ground. Interesting map. Uh, I think I need to see where they're lined up first. Uh, I don't know if I can... If I can line my guys up. Uh, on a hill that's this steep. No, we can't. Uh... Okay, but I mean I can try and line up there. Seems like we actually can go on this train. I think it's maybe just this train that we can't go on to. Oh, you guys are all over the place. I just retreat. I can't see what I'm trying to do here.
I'll try and get the the artillery where I can. They haven't actually managed to hit anyone right enough, but could still do a lot of damage if they manage to fire it at the right place. Okay, we got them off the artillery. That was all I wanted to do. And we seem to be fighting over here. May as well just commit then. Get the archers firing on a hill, that gives them a bit of extra range. Right, they are running away. And we're not going to lose when we're fighting on that much of a downslope. Let's go into them, see what we can do. Okay, they have uh, routed. Pretty much all of their forces are routed. Just a couple of units left here. Just the one spearman and someone else that we're chasing here. Should be, I think. Yeah, we lost. Uh, 
and now we should be able to get back to Blackwater, but there's a big army. Just two units there against ours, so hopefully we can hold that. King's Landing is red, as in the public order is red. Now we can get Stoke Worth and Meesman. Very nice. All right, I think that's about... Oh, we've won. So you've won this game, or oh, you've celebrated this victory, would you like to continue the game? Yes, I would. We can't win this. Be good if you could get trebuchets as marks. Okay, so the House Martel, Captain Oberyn, has left Blackhaven. And there's a full banner army. Ugh, feels like we're in trouble now. Oh yeah, I need I need units at I've got loads of it. I need units at King's Landing or in the, I need units in the reach pretty quickly. Got loads of max strength units here. The one turn on that, that's good. Okay, I need to deal with this uh, high tower force. So got units over here. I do need more. Yeah, I passed the time there. We're sort of struggling a little bit. Looks like the Martellas have quite a lot of units. Order of the Twins is dead. So that's Walder Frey, I think, from the Legend of Arms. So that's the. Uh, uh, remember them from the ship. 
climbing Mandalay, World of Freight. Okay, so we have a chance now to take back Black Haven, which would basically get us back to where we were. Sixteen men, but it's saying that's far as even. I can't remember what the what the battle map is for this. Anyway, obviously gonna fight this. I didn't trust the auto resolve when it says it's you know slightly favoured when we when we're up against sixteen men with nearly a thousand. That's not too bad. That's going to be waiting in the square. So we don't need to worry about... Uh, we don't need to worry about the towers unless they come and defend the wall. So I'll get everyone in. Let's get a spearman. So let's get some spearmen up here. Some archers as well. Get our uh, cavalry around the other side. This is the thing with generals, so they don't go down easily. That's probably why the auto is off. Oh. No, we don't want you to come around this way. Alright. Alright, you guys, come over here, please. I'm going to lose my general here because of my own stupidity. I mean, this general is battle hardened. I don't want to lose him there. Then I need to commit another general, get another general down here. our general. So we'll have 16 men in that fight and I think that means we are 
we've got back our original borders in the south which was the objective so I'm happy with that for this episode um, so we're up to 27 regions controls we do control we do actually we have won the campaign we got the uh, required regions and uh, we have held King's Landing but um, I didn't want to stop this episode without uh, fighting back against the Martels so uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one